When starting a freelance business, you will, of course, have decided what it is that you will be doing. Whilst a broad business idea can seem compelling in the beginning, over time, it should be narrowed down to a specific niche. There are many reasons that finding a niche can be beneficial to your freelance business. If you do not have one yet, it will not be of too much of a detriment. If you are still new to freelancing, whilst you work, over time, consider targeting your content towards a specific niche once you have decided what you want to do. No rush. Nevertheless, you should still be thinking about it. First, the ultimate reason to find a niche is that you want to be doing something that you are both good at and passionate about. Figure out what your expertise is and make that your niche. Playing to your strengths is the best thing that you can possibly do for your freelance business. The key to success is finding something that you are both good at as well as being passionate about. This will lead to a better quality of life for you as well as better results for your clients. The Top 5 Benefits to Being a Freelancer There are many advantages to starting a freelance business. Some of those advantages are less obvious than others. This presentation will run you through the top 5 benefits that come with starting a freelance business. Firstly, say goodbye to the work commute. Rolling from your bed to your workspace, yes, as tempting as it is, your bed probably should not be your desk. Via the kitchen, naturally, mere moments before you need to start work is an incredible thing. So say an enthusiastic goodbye to morning traffic. Secondly, you are no longer confined to a 9 to 5 existence. You'll get to set your own hours, so if you work better from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m., you have the power to do so, though you should probably contact your clients within regular hours. The flexibility you get that comes with having a freelance business is unparalleled. Not only can you avoid a commute and work from home in the hours that you choose, it will also change your work-life balance. You may find yourself working the same hours as you would with a regular job, but the time that you would spend commuting can now be used for spending time with your family or sleeping in. Freelancers have a better work-life balance than other people. These two things are often cited in terms of the benefits of freelance and for good reason. Being in control of sick days, holidays, and work hours may seem simple up front, but they will make a valuable difference to your life, and you will not want to go back. Thirdly, you get to set your own rate. Finally, you get to value your time as you see fit. You are not subjected to whatever wage your boss is willing to pay you. Instead, you get to set your own rate and only accept work from clients who will pay you what you are worth. You can tailor your fees based on what kind of lifestyle you desire and it can increase as your experience grows. Fourthly, you also get to do work that you are genuinely passionate about. You are in charge of what you do, no one else. There are always new work opportunities for freelancers. You get to do different things and it is all subject to your interests and whims. The variety of work is one of the highlights of freelance, and you can do it in such a unique and specialized manner. Finally, you get to be your own boss. Your successes will all be dependent on you and your hard work. While this may seem like a lot of pressure, it is so rewarding. Being your own boss means that you don't have to answer to anyone. You want a day off? Take one. In essence, freelancers get to make a lot of choices that most other people do not. Starting a freelance business will change your conception of work. You will be responsible for all elements of your business, and while it can seem overwhelming, this means the successes are yours and yours alone. There is no work like having a freelance business, and as fun as these benefits are, you still have to put in the hard work to succeed. 5 Reasons Why You Need to Find a Niche as a Freelancer Finding a niche is an essential part of being a freelancer. It helps you to define your business clearly and sets you up as an expert for your future clients. This presentation will guide you through the most important reasons why you should make the choice to narrow down your business and find a niche. When starting a freelance business, you will, of course, have decided what it is that you will be doing. Whilst a broad business idea can seem compelling in the beginning, 
Over time, it should be narrowed down to a specific niche. There are many reasons that finding a niche can be beneficial to your freelance business. If you do not have one yet, it will not be of too much of a detriment. If you are still new to freelancing, whilst you work, over time, consider targeting your content towards a specific niche once you have decided what you want to do. No rush. Nevertheless, you should still be thinking about it. First, the ultimate reason to find a niche is that you want to be doing something that you are both good at and passionate about. Figure out what your expertise is and make that your niche. Playing to your strengths is the best thing that you can possibly do for your freelance business. The key to success is finding something that you are both good at as well as being passionate about. This will lead to a better quality of life for you as well as better results for your clients. Secondly, a specific service is easier to market. Rather than broadly marketing a freelance service, you will be able to specifically market your niche, especially towards your target clients. You can market a niche service in the locations where people within that niche will find it. This leads into the third reason for defining a niche, your target clients. Once you have found people who align with your niche, work with them and build a positive reputation within your industry. This will lead to notoriety on your part and cause your clients to recommend you and your business will grow. Once you have found a niche, there will be less competition for your services. The broader your business, the more people you will have to compete with. Narrowing down your freelance business will also decrease your competition, strengthening your position as a leader in your niche. Having a niche makes you more reputable and more recognized in your area. This is a huge form of free marketing to cement yourself as an industry leader in your specialization. Finally, once you have a niche, you are able to charge a premium price for your services. The more specialized your niche, the more of an expert you seem, and therefore the more you can charge for your services. You may have to alter your business and your services to better fit your niche, which is a natural part of business growth. It is a sign of success in the freelance world. In conclusion, your niche can become more specified as your business grows. You do not have to commit to something incredibly narrow right away. Over time, narrow down and define your niche more clearly to grow your freelance business. Top Time Management Tips for Freelancers to Maximize Your Productivity From the outside, freelancing can seem simple. Wake up, roll out of bed, open your laptop after detouring past the coffee pot, and starting your day. The reality of it, though, is very different. In this presentation, you will discover the top time management tips for freelancers. There is a variety of tips included to suit all people. First of all, you have to remember that discipline and routine are essential to success. It will be the make or break of your freelance business. You need to get serious about time management and organization before you find yourself stuck in unproductive, bad habits that are hard to break. Perhaps. Decide on some specific hours you want to keep to. This will keep you productive, and if not, you will have to put in overtime. If you find that you are more productive in the evenings, make those your productive hours. Or if you are an early bird, then get your work done early on. That is the benefit of being a freelancer. You get to work when you choose. One productivity tip that you will always read is do not work in your bed. And sometimes this is true. However, if it works for you and it is comfortable, then by all means do so. If you find that you are more productive in another area of your house, then work in that location. That is one of the primary benefits of freelance. You get to work where you choose. Given that you will now be in control of when and how much you work, it is essential that you have some good time management skills. Clients will expect you to meet their deadlines, so you need to ensure that you do. Depending on your work style, you could charge by the project or by the hour. Whichever will motivate you the best and works for your client and business. Depending on how you value your time will help you to value your product more, and subsequently revalue your productivity. Even if you decide to charge by the project, derive your hourly rate anyway, just so you are aware of timing. To make sure that you stay on task, you will likely find a new best friend. Lists. 
whether you are a paper or an electronic person. Lists will save your life. It is also a good idea to break your projects into subtasks. Put these lists and calendars somewhere that you see them to keep them on task. You also get the satisfaction of ticking off a task. Additionally, setting mini sub-deadlines is a good way to track your progress. If one list-keeping method does not work for you, then find another one that does. That is the beauty of freelance. You get to be flexible. In order to track time, setting timers or word count goals are a great way to stay focused. For example, there is a time management technique that requires you to work solidly for 25 minutes. You then get a 5-minute break, and then you work for 25 minutes. This method keeps you engaged in your task, yet still keeps your brain refreshed. In conclusion, there are a multitude of productivity tips. The key, though, is to find the one that works for you. There is no point continuing to do something that is producing suboptimal results. Change it. One of the biggest benefits of working freelance is that you have the freedom to choose what to do. Choose success. How to write a captivating freelance profile to score valuable clients. Your freelance profile does not have to be the same as your CV or resume. While elements may end up being similar, your profile is what will attract clients to your services. This presentation will give you a solid understanding of what a profile is and why it is so essential for your business. There are a few simple tips that you can use to entice your audience and spice up your profile. Your profile is the first impression your clients will have of you, your style, and your work. It needs to be professional and attractive to clients. Your profile will also be how you stand out, so it needs to be professional yet still show your personality. Realistically, and in general, resumes tend to be pretty boring. It is nothing personal. It is a problem with the whole concept of the document. Instead, write your profile to incite a positive reaction from your clients and encourage them to work with you. From your profile, it should be immediately clear what kind of business you are running what your services are, and some kind of call to action that will inspire people to work with you. A website is a great place to put all this information. It should include a contact page, your skills, expertise, and your services. You can also include links to your professional social media pages. While there are other kinds of profiles, a website is the most flexible and is applicable to most industries. Research your industry and see what is popular and effective amongst your competition and model elements of your profile from that. Your profile is, effectively, an advertisement for your work and your products. Therefore, it goes without saying that it should be a good advertisement. On your profile, it can be used to have your portfolio easily available so that clients not only learn about you, but also get a glimpse into the quality of work that you provide. Some freelancers choose to show the products and services and packages that they have available on their profiles. This is an easy way for a client to know in advance if they are interested in and can afford your services. It makes it easy for them. And the easier something is for a client, the more likely they are to do something about it. You can also leave testimonials and reviews from past clients. It is not ideal to have too many of these as it can seem ingenuine and cluttered. But clients do like to know that the quality of your work can be verified by another person. Most importantly, your profile should be kept up to date. There's nothing that looks more unprofessional than an ugly, out-of-date website. Additionally, any websites are services that you exist on, such as social media networking sites or freelance work platforms, should be fully filled out as these are additional methods of promotion. In essence, your internet presence should be complete wherever you are putting it. This makes you seem more professional and will stand out to clients. It is also important to remember that when clients are choosing to work with a freelancer, they are often choosing the person as well as the work, meaning naturally that you should let your personality shine. In conclusion, make sure that your profile is visible, but put it in a place where your clients will find you. Make your profile clear, professional, and a lovely combination of what you can provide for your clients. 
Top Things to Remember When You Are Becoming a Freelancer A misconception is that freelancing is easier than a traditional job. Freelance work is still work. In all honesty, freelance work may even be harder, in terms of individual responsibility at least, than regular work. This presentation will reveal the top things that you need to remember when you are starting a freelance business. Firstly, you need to remember that success takes time. High demand for your services may not happen overnight. The important thing is not to be discouraged and not to give up. You may have to readjust your marketing or alter the locations of your promotions. Building a solid client base can be challenging, but perseverance is key. You should make sure that there is a demand for your services and ensure that you are promoting yourself in the correct places in order to meet your target audience. You also need to remember that you are in control. Freelance is one of those things where you get back what you put in. If you dedicate yourself to structuring your business properly and using good time management skills, you will be successful. You are in control of everything, and while this is one of the biggest positives of being a freelancer, it is also one of the negatives. There's no one to blame but yourself. If you put in the time and effort, you will be able to reap the rewards. You need to be able to pitch yourself. It is not enough to just have a website listing your services. You need to advocate for your business and seek out clients. Being able to pitch yourself and outline what you can do for potential clients is something that sets good freelancers apart from the rest. You should learn to advocate for yourself and seek out clients. You do not have to wait for them to come to you. Once successful, your business can be scalable. As your business grows, you may find yourself able to hire employees or outsource elements of your work. A freelance business does not have to be a single employee. Once your workload increases, you may choose to hire a team. You can change your business as you please. If you wish to change your niche, you can do so. If you want to scale back your working hours, you can do so. It is all up to you. The successes and failures of your freelance business depend entirely on you, your work ethic, and your goals. You will need to do a lot of research. You will need to understand your service, your industry, your competition, as well as understanding how to run a freelance business. Research is the best way to ensure that you are clear on everything relevant to your business. By keeping these things in mind as you proceed with your freelance career, you will be able to make the most of it. The most important thing to remember, however, is that you are in control of the success of your freelance enterprise. This means that you should not just proceed in doing something that is not working in the hope that it will one day. Update your strategies and improve your content. With freelance, you get back what you put in, so make sure that you put in the work and give your business the best chance of success. Things to define in order to be a successful freelancer. In order to have a successful freelance business, there are multiple things that you first need to define. You cannot just open your laptop and start a freelance business on the spot. You need to do a little planning first. This presentation will guide you through the elements of your freelance business that you need to outline before you begin. This will give you a solid foundation for your work and will help you succeed. Firstly, you need to define what your big picture goals for your life are. This will help underpin the remainder of your business. You need to think about what you want to do with your life. While this may seem extreme, it will help with the decision-making process for the remainder of the business planning phase. What are your big picture goals for life? You need to think about the hours that you want to work, the location that you want to work in, and the level of stress you want to undertake as you will now be in control of, well, everything. You can model attributes of your freelance business based on your ideal life. Think about the level of work you want. There is no use signing on to long, ongoing projects if that's not the work you would prefer. If you want shorter-term clients because you work better that way, then by all means, structure your business to suit this. If you would prefer to work fewer hours, then do so. Just make sure you can support yourself financially first. Secondly, you need to define and understand what your service will be, and then, if possible, define it down to a smaller niche. What kind of brand or business do you want to create? 
and what do you want to do with your service? You do not have to define your niche outright, however. It should be something that you consider doing once your business has grown. There are numerous kinds of freelance work available. Find one that suits your skills and experiences and make that your brand. More importantly, however, it needs to be something that you enjoy doing and that you are passionate about. There is no use becoming a freelancer if you're not going to enjoy the work. Once you have determined your overall service, if possible, try and define it down to more of a niche. This will make you seem more professional and specialized. Thirdly, you need to define what your expectations for a client are. Outline clearly what your responsibilities will be and how you will interact with your client. Sometimes clients can be demanding and occasionally they try to take advantage of you. Make sure they know that the relationship between you two will be mutually beneficial and equal. What you really need to define is the expectations and lifestyle that you want. This will set you on a pathway for success when starting your freelance business. Clearly defining your big picture goals will ensure that you become the kind of freelancer that you desire with the lifestyle to match. The five best ways to build a freelance portfolio. It is very common for clients to require viewing samples or examples of your work before they choose to commit to a huge project with you. In order to showcase your finest work, you will need a portfolio. This presentation will guide you through the best ways to build a freelance portfolio. The best part of these tips is that many of them are applicable, even if you do not have too much experience. Your portfolio should showcase the best of your work, as well as outlining any relevant skills and experience that you have. It is a combination and demonstration of the product or service that you produce for your clients. One way to begin to build a portfolio is to work for less than you would ideally charge. A lower price will attract clients and help you to build your clientele from early on. Also, just do work for fun. Anything you're interested in or whatever, take time to write or design or produce, assuming your product is a tangible physical service. Make content and get it out there. Spending some of your spare time creating quality content to fill your portfolio will add incredible value to your business, as well as helping you to determine exactly what services you will provide. Not only does this build your portfolio, it is also a great way to build experience. Working for free is another option, but some people advise against it. While it is entirely personal preference, in some circumstances, working for free is seen to devalue your work. But on the other hand, it is a fantastic way to gain experience and to make connections in your industry. If you lack experience and can withstand it financially, then it is a great option. Another tip to building a portfolio is to start your own blog. This will require that you consistently update and create content within your area and will showcase your skills and abilities. While this does not work for all freelancers, even if you are not strictly a writer, writing content that is relevant to your service makes you an authoritative voice in your industry. Sharing such content on social media is a good way to draw attention to your business. If it is possible, bring over any work from your past jobs that is relevant to your freelance business. If possible, legally, of course. You can remove these as you gain experience on your own, but it can be a way to showcase your skills when you are just starting out. You should also keep your portfolio up to date with new content, and you should revise and grow your portfolio as your business does. There is no use showcasing poor examples of past work when hopefully your work gets better with time and improves. Updating your portfolio to highlight successful projects will show your talent and skill to your future clients. Having an up-to-date portfolio is an essential method of adding value to your freelance business and allows you to advertise your services in an effective way, with minimal effort on your part. The best advertisement is, at the end of the day, a quality service. For that reason, the best way to build a portfolio is to have a quality product that attracts clients and influences them to work with you. Four Reasons to Persevere with a Freelance Business Starting a freelance business can be hard work. 
While at times it can be tempting to want to quit and find something that requires less responsibility and effort, persevering and continuing with a freelance business is one of the most rewarding things you can do. This presentation will outline some of the top reasons to persevere with a freelance business. In order to offset some of the initial stress, some people initially start part-time freelancing whilst working another job in order to gain a good foundation before committing to a full-time freelance. This is not an option for everyone, but it can be a good way to get a head start before fully committing. With a freelance business, the opportunities are endless, both for your lifestyle and for your business. You now have the ability to work from anywhere you can dream of and work whatever hours you choose to work. Having a freelance business means you have the choice to live and work however you choose. There are almost no limitations or constraints to a freelance lifestyle, and you cannot achieve these any other way. The passion that comes with freelance is truly unparalleled. Freelance work is never boring. You have the ability to choose the projects that you undertake, as well as the people you work with. If you choose, you can work with different people on different projects each month. And if you do not have a good working relationship with someone, you can simply end it, assuming contractual obligations are adhered to. Gone are the days of having to put up with an annoying coworker. You get to choose the projects you enjoy, meaning you no longer have to slave over work that you do not care about. You can finally do your passion projects all the time. This level of flexibility is genuinely unmatched in the workplace. You are able to choose your hours, your workplace, your coworkers, as well as your projects. One of the main advantages of freelance work is the increased work-life balance. Given that you are in charge of how you operate, you can choose to spend less time working and more time on things that matter, such as your friends, family, and vacations. Or alternatively, you can work more if you wish. The choice is yours. While freelancing can seem lonely, once you have built up a network of connections with other freelancers, or perhaps seek out a mentor if you're struggling, there is a strong community behind you. Other freelance business owners are always happy to give out advice or lend an ear for a chat. While there is an increased responsibility with running a freelance business, suddenly you and you alone are responsible for how it is performing. It is also rewarding. Because you solely are in charge. That means the benefits are yours alone to reap. No more having to give undue credit to a lazy coworker. Freelancing really is what you make of it. There is an incredible level of freedom and choice available. But the most important thing is that freelance work is so rewarding. You know that you only have yourself to thank for your successes and achievements. The Secret to Finding Freelance Work Online one of the biggest challenges when starting out as a freelancer can be finding enough work. While you may already have some clients, in order to find more, you can visit some specific platforms to find work online. While it will not detail and list every single service, this presentation will provide an overview of some of the best platforms to aid you in finding freelance work online. Firstly, it is important to acknowledge that one of the main obstacles that people tend to assume in regard to finding freelance work online is that it is hard. And honestly, it can be, if you do not know how to find it. If you have not yet found a work-seeking method that is beneficial to you, keep persevering and you will eventually develop a good strategy. There are multiple websites, including Upwork and Fiverr, that are dedicated to helping freelancers find work. A simple internet search will help you find more that are popular in your area. On some platforms, clients post job offerings that they require completion for freelancers to offer their services for. Freelancers compete against other freelancers in offering their services and the client selects who they wish to work with. On other platforms, freelancers post the type of jobs that they complete for clients to see and decide to use based on their needs. Such platforms are useful because they are a consolidated place for freelancers and potential clients to frequent, and they contract terms that both are bound to, removing some of the admin work for freelancers. The downside to such platforms is that they sometimes have fees and they are often saturated with other freelancers and can lead to a race-to-the-bottom mentality, 
wherein the freelancers often compete against each other, lowering and lowering prices simply to get work. Nevertheless, the key to standing out on such platforms is having a quality portfolio that showcases your work and highlights to your clients why you are a better choice than everyone else. Additionally, once you have built up an abundance of quality reviews, new clients will be more likely to choose to work with you. It is important to keep client retention in mind. If you focus on building long-lasting relationships with your clients, not only will you have the potential for ongoing work with them, but they will also be likely to recommend you to others. To supplement freelance job search platforms, you can use social media websites such as LinkedIn. Having a well-filled out profile, posting your services, and making it clear that you are open to opportunities is a great way to make connections and gain work from other professionals. Additionally, you could consider joining freelance groups on Facebook and sharing your services there. The key really is to put yourself out there, but it is not enough to simply be out there. You need to stand out. In essence, the secret of finding freelance work online is to know where to look. You'll need to do research into your industry and discover where effective places are for your niche. Depending on your service, different platforms will be more effective for you. But once you have laid the groundwork, you will determine which platform works for you and your business. The most effective platforms to market your freelance business on. Marketing a freelance business can seem like a challenge. It can be hard to know exactly where you should place your business in order for it to reach your audience and grow your clientele. This presentation will guide you through some of the advantages of specific platforms and help you to market your business to your target clients. Firstly, you need to research and understand your industry. Research your competition and discover their marketing tactics. Different things work for different industries, and there is no better place to look than at people who are already succeeding at it. One of the first areas you should invest in, a quality blog or website. Your website will be clear and concise and also need to have your portfolio on it, as well as your contact information. Some freelancers opt to have their rates and packages available for your audience to see. Having a blog is a great way to show that you are up to date with your industry, as well as showing your target clients that you are active and involved. Popular freelance work finding websites is a great place to start. While some are quite broad and competition can be fierce, such websites are fantastic for finding opportunities and new clients. The websites can be tough to break into, and you may have to take on some projects at a lower rate. But once you have reviews that are an especially effective method for finding work and building your business. These are also good because both you and your client will be bound by the terms of the arrangement and the policies that the websites have. There are possibly also specific freelance sites in your specific niche. Rather than just targeting broader freelance sites, find some that are specific to your niche and focus on them. Regardless of the platform, you should fill out the profile completely and link to your portfolio as a method of increasing your internet presence. LinkedIn is a great networking platform that is also a wonderful way to find work. Join and connect with other people in your industry as well as show that you are open to new opportunities and work. You can also use social media to your advantage. Have a presence on many sites that your audience will be and interact with the community. Simply having your name and your brand online will ensure that your audience can see you and find you when they are seeking out a freelancer. And finally, you should think locally. While the internet can seem like the best place to start, it is also possible that your target audience will exist locally too. Join regional Facebook groups and advertise your service at community places, such as libraries. Additionally, there are likely Facebook groups that exist with the purpose of connecting freelancers with people looking for their services, so stay active. To conclude, there is a multitude of places where you can market your freelance business. You should find the ones that will attract your desired audience and utilize them to your advantage. If your marketing is not working or begins to work less effectively, do not be afraid to change it up. Without clients, your freelance business will not succeed, so make sure that they can find it.